brought to you by Allstate, whose policies now include protection for your home, your family, as well as your car. You're in good hands with Allstate. And now, let's all play What's My Line? And now, live from New York, let's meet our What's My Line panel. First, the popular columnist whose voice of Broadway appears in papers coast to coast, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And now it's my privilege to present a very fine and a very popular actor who hasn't been on our panel for about two years. Uh, he's uh, been in the hospital after a very bad accident for quite a long time, and so we're doubly happy to see him fit as a fiddle and all in one piece, Mr. John Payne. Now a lady, a sweetheart, a beauty who certainly needs no introduction, Miss Darlene Francis. And now our own special Santa Claus, because Random House publishes the beginner books and the American College Dictionary, our literary panelist, Mr. Bennett Sir. Thank you, Arlene. Good to see you here, John. I'm glad you beat that Madison Avenue right. car that you uh, <laughs> bumped into you. And here's our silver-tongued and recherche panel moderator, Mr. John Charles Daly. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to What's My Line. But Mr. Payne, it's nice to have you on the panel with us, sir. Hope you have a pleasant evening and a difficult one, at least in the next half hour. In terms of what we're up to, that is. We have some very interesting occupations, and I think the panel is going to have a little trouble with some of them. We'll also have a famous mystery challenger before the panel a little bit later in the program, and we'll meet our first challenger. And now let's meet our first contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Eva. Adam. Is that right? Miss or Mrs. Adams? Miss. Miss Adams. Where are you from? Reno. Reno, Nevada. Yes. Nice to have you with us. Miss Adams, may I present our panel? Now, would you join me over here, please? Miss Adams, do you know how we keep score? Yes, sir. Fine, then we'll let the audience in the theater and the audience at home know exactly what your line is. panel, we can tell you that uh, Miss Adams is salaried and deals in a product. And we'll begin the general questioning with uh, Bennett, sir. Miss Adams, I, I, I know this show is never indulging in the obvious, so I'm going to ask you, have you, are you doing something that has nothing to do with legalized gambling? Double negative. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a double negative. Well, I mean, can I, no, can I ask you, you, you're, 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 you are not connected with any yes. of the gambling that goes on in Reno. Yes. Reno, is that correct? Yes. You, uh, you, you put it on the basis you are not connected. Yes. Right then. Mm -hmm. That's, I wanted to avoid that. Yes. The, uh, there is a pro you, you do deal with a product. Yes. Uh, is this a product that is used by both men and women? Yes. It is. Uh, do they uh, benefit by the use of this product in some way? <laughs> I hope so. Is it a product that can be consumed? No. No, it can't, but it's one down and nine to go, Miss Kilgallen. Miss Adams, does this product have anything to do with married people or people about to get married? You mean in a specific sense, darling? Well, either married or about to be. Has it anything to do with matrimony? No. no, I wouldn't think so. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Pay. 
This is not to say that people who are about to be married, who are just married, wouldn't have some interest in the product, but it isn't specifically connected with the fact of marriage. Is the product fibrous in nature? Fibrous? No. No, that's three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Is it possible that anybody on this panel might have the product? <laughs> I do hope so. Uh, women as well as men? Oh, yes. Is it a product that one might hold in one's hand? Oh, yes. Uh, is it a useful product rather than a decorative product? <laughs> it is a good idea to have this product, then. <laughs> No matter what shape you're in. <laughs> no matter what shape you're in. It has nothing to do with the shape you're in, this product. I think that's a fair statement. <laughs> uh huh. Um, is it a product that would be seen uh, rather than covered up? You mean generally? Is it something that would be under normal circumstances? If you had it, would you have it out instead of uh, yeah. in? <laughs> You mean if you had it, would you have it out all the time, exposed to view? Oh, I don't think you should have anything out all the time. <laughs> would you have it, would, if one had the product, would one show it rather than keep it in a closet or a drawer? I think that's fair. I think if you had the product and intended to utilize it, that you would tend to show it, wouldn't you say? Well, to this question, yes. Yes. The other one... Oh, oh, um, is, is, is it a product that does something to something? <laughs> I think we'd have to say no to that. That's uh, the easiest uh, way out. Four down and six to go, Mr. Sir. Miss Adamson, is this a valuable product? Oh, yes, I would consider it such. Has it got anything to do with money? <laughs> yes. Uh, do you work for a non-profit making organization? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Is it something for some kind of a government job, either local, state, or federal? Yes. Might it be the federal government? Well, yes. Have you anything to do with the United States Treasury or Tax Department? Yes. yes. U.S. Treasury? Something to do with the U.S. Treasury? Is yes. that your question? Yes. Well, do you in some way handle money or uh, have something to do with the making of money or the exchanging of money? Yes. Well, do you work for the United States Mint? You do? Yes. Well, what more must I, I say? Well, just see if you can get the job. She runs it. Right! <laughs> Dorothy? John asked if it were fibrous, and she said no. Is paper, paper is fibrous. Mint. He's United States mint. mint. Oh, Hard coins money. only. Hard. Coins only. United States mint coins money. Where does the paper money come from? Bureau of Printing and Engraving. The Bureau engraving. of Printing and Engraving. Entirely different so operation. So sorry. Yes. Uh. <laughs> but now, I would like to take this occasion, and I hope, Miss Adams, that you won't find it remiss. I believe it was only as recently as the 30th day of October that President Kennedy mm -hmm. swore you in as director of the United States Mint. That's right. Congratulations, ma'am. You're a you, great honor to your first. Very nice to have you with us. Uh, now let's meet our second challenger. Would you enter and sign in, please? Nelson Cruz Arias. Is that right, sir? <laughs> now, I would imagine that should be Mr. Cruz Arias, huh? Where are you from, Mr. Cruz Arias? From Colombia and right now from Texas. Right now from Texas. Well, right. fine. May I present our panel, Mr. Cruz Arias? How do you do? And would you join me over here? Coming from Texas. Now, but uh, recently from Colombia, or in recent earlier years from Colombia, do you know how we keep score? Right. 
You do? That's fine. All right, then let's let the audience at home and the audience at the theater know exactly what your line is. All right, Fettel. <coughs> Cruz Arias is self-employed that deals in a service. And we'll begin the general questioning with um, Dorothy Kilgallen. Mr. Cruz Arias, uh, could your service be enjoyed by people in New York as well as in Texas? <laughs> yes, no, be in Texas. Huh? No. His, his service is done, it's practiced in Texas, and I think... Oh, Texas... I meant a similar service, John. I didn't mean given by him. I'm sorry, well, I worded that incorrectly. Let me put it this way. I think that the, the service could be... Well, let me have a small conference with Mr. Cruz Arias. If, if your question was brought up to me, could the same service be performed in New York State? That's exactly what I meant. I didn't All mean right. his, by Fine. him. I meant All by, right. uh, do you know, for instance, if there is anyone doing similar work in New York? Well, let's say we would presume, you're talking about New York City? Well, anywhere in New York State. Anywhere in New York State. We'll presume that it is being done in New York State. Uh, is your service more rural than urban? Yes. Does it have anything to do with livestock? Uh, yes. Uh, are they cattle? Yes. Uh, do you have anything to do with uh, taking care of uh, cattle in some way? Yes. Uh, you are a cattle taker <laughs> carer of. <laughs> um, do I have to get some specific type of uh, oh, cattle? Oh, yes, because there are lots of things done with respect to that large uh, well, area of cattle. May I assume that you do not brand them? Yes, yes. you may assume that. Mm -hmm. uh, when you take care of them, are they in their little shelters? Or whatever they live in? <laughs> In the corral or something? No, I would think if you're no. thinking of general housing, we'd have to give, give you a no. I don't when, know what I'm when, thinking. <laughs> when Mr. Cruz Arias is performing his service, they would not be in the corral. Right, sir? That's right. All right, Mr. Payne? Then he doesn't build bomb shelters for cattle. That's <laughs> he doesn't uh, build what? <laughs> he doesn't build bomb shelters for cattle. No, he does not. Would the service you perform... Um, would your appearance belie your uh, uh, fool us, in a sense? Do you look like you do what you do? <laughs> in the ordinary terminology, to the norm. I would not uh. say that the service performed here necessarily has connected with it an area of identification that would be readily uh, known to the average individual. I knew I was a fool to ask that question. <laughs> so we'd have to give you a note, John. Sorry, that's two down and eight to go. Oh. Ms. Friend. Oh, well, in that case, we cannot say that he is Mr. Cruzorius. You are not uh, what we, we would consider a cowboy. You are not. No. no. You perform a service for the cattle? Yes. Uh, do you breed cattle? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Sir. Are the cattle, Mr. Cruz Orios, uh, healthier cattle because of your administrations than they would be otherwise? <coughs> um, well, we'll have yes. a small conference. Doesn't sound like such a difficult question to answer. Yeah. <laughs> All we want to know is are they sick are or they, well? Yeah. <laughs> well, I think that we would have to agree that uh, a cattle, say, that's pretty good, isn't it? A cattle. Yeah. A cattle that has had the benefit of Mr. Cruz Arias's, uh, service would be considered to be a, a healthier cattle because it had had that service. Well, are you in some sense a veterinarian then, in the fact that, in, that you do something to the cattle that improves them in the way of either vaccinating them or uh, giving no. them some kind of serum? No, no. Or... it's four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. If they are not in the corral when you deal with them, 
Are they also not on the range? Uh, yes. Does that mean that they're in some special place where you perform your services? Uh, no, necessary. Well, not a special place, but let's say a special place as to, to be compared with their normal bedding down areas, like corrals and stuff like that. They, they, to get rid of this question in, entirely, Dorothy, they're, they're brought to a particular area only to have the service performed. I see. Uh, do you in any way alter their appearance? <laughs> no. I don't... I'm not... Actually, I'm not really qualified for this uh, area. Could I ever ask a conference for a moment? You can yeah, have a 15 certainly. second conference. Uh, uh, judging by the way John answered that, John, I, I think maybe he just milked them or something. Milk steers? No. <laughs> so <laughs> I think we'll have to make... I'm going to give you one more minute, because you seem to be... Yes, sir? You're next, Doctor. You're next. John, you're on. You're next. Next. Yeah. Uh, you... Has it been ascertained that they do not look any better after he has... Well, Mr. Cruzerius does not feel that it changes their appearance substantially, and I How about go, you? go along you with it. feel that it changes? I just don't know. Can we take a Could wild one? Conference? Yeah, take a wild one. What about nutrition? Could he do something... I have an idea up? they sit in a dental chair or something. Oh. Is he a dentist? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Well, we'll throw these all over, because that's loads of fun. This is an interesting story. Mr. Cruz Arias took his degree as a dentist and did for a while practice dentistry <coughs> with respect to such ordinary types as ourselves. But then he got interested in the whole area of, of cattle, and, and uh, their teeth wear away, you know, and then it, when they no longer have effective teeth, they can't chew their cuds, and therefore they just fall away. And he... He puts caps on, on their teeth <laughs> and they can... Crowns. crowns. Who's crowns? crowns. One of those. Full crowns and bridges on, on their, their teeth and then they can well, they eat... They must look a lot better, you know. That, well, this, I don't know. They have such have a... They have to perform the operation. They have to perform Oh, the they'd be better in pictures anyway. Yeah, they'd they look better yeah. in pictures. When they laugh. Well, thank you very much, Mr. <laughs> Cruz. It made a very interesting occupation. <laughs> By the way, I knew I was manufacturing a term when I was talking about a cattle, so don't anybody blame me. And uh, we'll meet tonight's mystery guest in just a moment, but first, here is a word from our... And now we come to the uh, special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity, for which the panel, as you well know, is always blindfolded. The blindfold's all in place, panel. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, Will you sir. enter Mystery Challenger and sign in, please? <laughs> panel, we use a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and we'll begin the questioning with uh, John Payne. Are you uh, male? No. <laughs> what? What dot and I to go, Miss Fred? Are you a motion picture star? See? Mr. Sir? Are you in a picture that is uh, currently in new release that has uh, recently released around the country? No. Nope. Two down at eight to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, are you known more for your work in films than any other medium? See? <clears throat> Mr. Payne? Um, have you been in a film in the last 18 months? See? Miss Francis? Are you married to someone in films? See? Is that C, because you recently returned from the Argentine? C. <laughs> Janet Lee. Janet Lee. Oh! <laughs> oh, Miss Janet. I must say, I'm afraid your accent gave you away. I wasn't too good, right? No, I was you too were, good. You were fine. You were too good. Bennett evidently well, knew where you'd been in that sea after Arlene's question. I, I knew you were in New York, Miss Lady. Oh. And you're one of the people I was kind of uh, 
hoping would be on tonight. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> I thought I might fool you because I just came back on my way back from Argentine where Tony was filming, Taurus Boba, and I thought possibly I might fool you, but your, your I guess front, I didn't. Your front page knows New York. <laughs> oh, thank you. I might say that, that uh, Miss Janet is here to appear at the Hanukkah, the big Hanukkah festival at uh, Madison Square Garden, which Mrs. Roosevelt is sponsoring. That's right, tomorrow. <laughs> A fine and un unselfish thing for you to do. And I've been doing some reading. You're also going to make another picture. If I, my reading tells me something. Manchurian with, Candidate. With Frank Sinatra. Is Frank it? Sinatra, uh, Lawrence Harvey. When are you going to start doing this? In January, and we filmed some of it in New York. Oh, that's grand. It's so I, to be I have another trip, isn't oh, it? Oh, that's wonderful. We're glad to have you back in <laughs> oh, our town. Oh, it's my pleasure. Man. I adore this town. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks a lot for being our guest. Lovely right. to have you. And we'll have another contestant after this message. All right, now let's meet a final contestant. Will you enter and sign in, please? Ray Brown. From Bath, 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 New York. May I present our panel? Brown, would you join me here? Do you know how we keep score? All right, we'll let the audience at home in the theater know exactly what you're like. All right, panel, we, are, we have very little time, but Mr. Brown has is salaried and deals in a product. Let's see what we can do with that. We'll begin with Arlene Fenton. Uh, Mr. Brown, is this uh, product something that I would find in a home? Yes, ma'am. Is it possible it might be in my home? Yes, ma'am. Is it, uh, is it useful? Yes. Uh, would it be in sight in my home? Possibly. Is it something that would be in the living room? Possibly. Is it larger than Steve Allen's old bread box? <laughs> No. No. Um, one out of nine to go, Mr. Sir. Mr. Brown, where is Bath, New York? I'm just curious. It's about 300 miles west of here. West of here? Yes, sir. Uh, is the product that you deal in manufactured in, uh, or made or originate in Bath, New York? No, sir. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're in Bath, you said. That makes it two down and eight to go. Thank you, Mr. Gallant. Well, uh, could I hold it in my hand? Yes. Is it solid rather than liquid? No. Three down and seven to go, Mr. Payne. You said it uh, would be found in a, in a living room. Yes. Would it mostly be found in a, another room more comfortably than in the living room? Possibly. Then it is more useful in one part of the house? No, it, it might tend to be used, but not necessarily be more useful. Miss Francis? Now, if it is liquid rather than solid, it is in a bottle of some kind, I take it. Yes. Uh, is it a bottle that one might pour the liquid from? Yes. Would what the other liquid find it there? <laughs> well, sometimes you keep a boat in a bottle or something. Um, we do at our house. Um, <laughs> Is it something that might be served at meal time? Yes. Is it uh, an accompaniment to a meal? Yes. Is it in the uh, is it in the sauce or uh, condiment? We just ran out of time. Wine, oh, wine or champagne? Right, champagne is oh, it. Right. We were just out of time. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Brown deals in a product that will be most useful in the coming season. You're with the Taylor Wine Company in Hammondsport, where it's made, actually, not in Bath. And and thank you very much for being our guest. Lovely to have you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know whether this is a... I don't know whether this is a Christmas gift or not, but Bennett is going to go somewhere, and I don't know whether it's a Christmas gift. Where is it you're going this week? Oh, Kansas. Oklahoma and Texas. Kansas, Oklahoma and Texas. That's wonderful. Go you and all, you've, all, you've, all had, <laughs> you've all had notice so that you could get uh, Bennett in your area and you're not protected. That's your fault. And I'm 
afraid I've used all the time, so with your permission for the panel, <coughs> for all of us, may I say thank you for being with us on What's My Line. What's My Line is a CBS Television Network production in association with Mark Goodson and Bill Cudman. Twelve million sufferers look to the Arthritis Foundation for a cure. Your donations help the foundation continue its research program. Give to your arthritis fund. Johnny Olson speaking. What's my